Good evening, baseball fans, and welcome to Game 2 of the Hunkball Hofte Clausen Playoff Series between the Silicon Storks and the Amsterdam Pirates. The Storks will be looking to take a 2-0 series lead with them to Amsterdam with a win here tonight. I'm joined for today's game by Dutch reporter Clarence Vandenberg. And Clarence, tell us who is taking the mound for today's yes. game. Yes, thanks. Now, the Storks send Sharon Martis to the mound today. Martis spent last season in Amsterdam, and this season has a 5 and 3 record for the Storks with a 2.44 ERA. The Pirates send 19 years old Nort Krauk to the start. Uh, he has a 7 and 1 record this season with a 2.38 ERA and only gives up one home run. Thank you, Clarence. Now, after Carabello's home run heroics in Game 1, today's game could prove to be a very different challenge for the Storks hitters. I'm joined now by their GM, Ozzy Villain. And Ozzy, can you tell us what you expect from today's game? Yeah, I mean, look, like you said, mate, uh, we, it's a different sort of game today. Uh, we're up against the guy who just doesn't give up home runs. Uh, but, you know, we keep faith with the same, uh, same lineup as yesterday's game one. Uh, it will be at uh, Bladell and Ryan Jackson will switch places in the hitting lineup. Well, good luck tonight. Yeah, thank you. Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Villain and welcome to episode 16 of the Baseball Journeyman at the Silicone Stalks. A special Tuesday game 2 of the Honkball Hofte Klausen uh, playoff series. And today we are playing game 2 against the Pirates. We won of course game 1. We have a 1-0 lead in the best of 7 series. And after today we head off to Amsterdam. Um, so ideally we'd like to take a 2-0 lead with us. You can see all the ins and outs of game 1 here, the playoffs as a whole. But game 1 uh, just right now. Um... And there's not really too much to fill you in on. Nothing has happened since last episode except a couple of quiet drinks after the game one win. So let's go quite... Uh, let's try that again. Let's get straight into the game and see the teams or the lineups for both teams for this game too. And this is it. It looks like they... Well, both teams have pretty much gone with the same uh, the same nine players. Just maybe a few changes in the order. But we have Urbanus leading off for us at second base. Johnny Bladell comes back up the order for, for against the left-hander. Uh, sorry, against the right-hander to bat second in right field. Uh, Bodadina bats third in center field. It is uh, Carabello, yesterday's hero. Uh, not literally, literally yesterday's hero. Not because he's old. <laughs> uh, he bats uh, clean up at first base. Uh, Delima, clean, uh, he's the designated hitter at five. It's Ryan Jackson down the order at six at shortstop. Up. Ricky Kuipers drops down one to seven. He's in left field. It's Quillen DeVint at third base, batting eight. It's uh, Jeru Martina, the catcher, at nine. Martis takes the mound for us. We're up against the young right handed pitcher, Nott Kraut, or however you say that name, Kreut. I don't know how you say that name. Anyway, that's who we're up against. Let's see what we can do with him. And here we go. Here we go. We are, of course, pitching first, given that it is our home game. Martis was previously, of course, we, he was a free agent, but we, he was at uh, the Pirates last season. So up against his former team. Their pitcher, he does have a very good record this year, but we did play him early, early on in the season. And a nice way to start there with Martis for a strikeout. We did, uh, we did take four runs off his four innings, and the one home run he gave up, it was to us. So, oh, another strikeout for Martis. He is up for this today. Sam's, of course, hit a home run in game one. Uh, leading off the game, he uh, he strikes out here three and one on Kenny Birkenbosch, and we've lost the third hitter. So they have a runner on. It is Lupstock to the plate, full count, two out, and Martes strikes out the side with a walk in the middle. But excellent, excellent start to the game. All right, here we go up against Nort. Let's see what Urbanus can do with him. One ball, two strikes to Nicky Urbanus. Come on, Irby. Come on, mate. Come on. No, he strikes him out. Um, yeah, so we did we did get the better of him when we played him earlier on this year. Johnny Bladell now steps in. 0-1. He has popped him up. That'll be uh, that'll be two out, and it's going to be up to the king, Roger Bernardina, who was poor in game one. Did not get himself on base. Uh, 0 for 4, he went in game one. Let's see what he can do here. 3 and one's the count on Bernardina. He has dropped that in, I think. Has he? Yes, he has. Bernardina gets his first hit of the playoffs. He stands at first for yesterday's hero, Carabello, with his three RBIs, two of them home runs. Let's see what he can do here. Full count, two out. Come on. He has grounded it to second base, and that'll do it for the first. At least we've got a hit, so we're ahead of them on that count. But it's runs that matter, isn't it? And it's still nil-nil in that sense. Martes to continue. Two and two on the leadoff man, Ricardo. Oh dear, that's popped up. 
Bernardina's going back. It's going to stay in the ballpark, and it should be a simple catch in the end. There it is, and that is one away. Richardson to the plate now. One and two is the count on him. What can Martis do? Sit him down, son. Well, he's popped him up. That'll sit him down eventually. Bladell's coming around. Bernardina's coming around. And it's Bladell in the end that makes the play out there in right field for two away for Shup to come up to bat. He is he went 0 for 1 yesterday. Full count on him. Two out. And that is a two-out single. The Pirates have their first hit of the game. And let's hope this doesn't turn into a two-out rally. It's uh, Jibbirds to the plate. He went uh, 1 for 3 in yesterday's game. And that's a strikeout. Excellent stuff. Ends the innings. We're through two pitching innings without giving up a hit. Oh, sorry, without giving up a run. Just the one hit. The Lima, though, to lead us off in the bottom of the second. Two and one's the count. Kendrick, he has hit that really, really well into left field. That's going to drop in for a leadoff single. And let's see what we can do with that. Kendrick, not the fastest. Ryan Jackson comes in. He went to four for two yesterday. What can Jacko do? He has, well, I think we're doing a hit and run there. So just the one. As Delina goes to say. And that was a sneeze. Um, all right, so Delima goes to second. One out. Jackson uh, has been removed. Kuipers comes in the bat. Kuipers grounds at the second base. It's going to move Delima to third. It is two out, and it's going to be Quillen DeVint now to try and give us a lead here. First pitch swing. DeVint. He's grounded at the shortstop, and short of an error, that's going to do it. So that is a massive, massive shame. We couldn't take advantage of the Delima leadoff single. And it's Martes going back to work now against uh, Kawanak. That's been popped up. I think we're getting back there. We are. And that is one away. De Quint to uh, the plate now. He's 0-2. What a count that is. And that's another strikeout. Another strikeout. A fifth strikeout for Martes. And it's Sam's now to the plate with two out. Oh, and two's the count on Sam's. Oh, and he struck out another one. What's the record for strikeouts in a playoff game? It, well, we, we, yesterday, wasn't it? Because uh, Profs equaled it with 12. Martina to lead us off here in the bottom of the third. He has slapped it down the right side of the infield into the outfield. And that is a leadoff single for our catcher. All right. Can we make the most of a leadoff single this time? It's Nicky Urbanus. Yet to get itself a base hit in the playoffs. He's got a base hit now. That's going to drop in. That's going to be Martina to second. And we have runners at first and second with no one out. And Johnny Bladell also yet to get himself a hit in the postseason. First pitch swing. Johnny Bladell pops it up. And I don't think it's deep enough. And I don't think Martina is quick enough to get himself over there to third base. That is one away. It brings up the king, Roger Bernardina. What can he do? Bernardino, he's hit it well, but center field comes in, makes a sliding catch. And that is that. Carabello now with two out. What can he do? He strikes out, and that will do it for the third. All right, Martis comes back out to start the fourth. Up against Bosch and Burke. No, Burke and Bosch. <laughs> Full count. Grounded up the middle. No, caught. Nicely done by Martis. He looks on today. Let's hope this continues. Lupstock. Comes in now. One and two is the count on him. That's been driven into left center field. It'll drop in for a one-out single. And that's a little bit unfortunate. Ricardo now to face Martis. Two and two. Ricardo strikes out. Excellent stuff. Two away. Richardson now, who is 0 for 1 so far today. And he's hit him. Oh, Martis. Two on now with two out. Schlup to the plate. He is one for one today. Ground ball to Urbanus. He should make easy work of that. He does. And that gets us out of the top of the fourth. Still tied at zeros. It's DeLima to lead us off. Last time we did this, he got a single. Two and one's the count. DeLima, he's grounded that to shortstop. And that should be a simple play at first. And that is one away. It's going to bring up Ryan Jackson now. He is 0 for 1 today. Two and two's the count on Jackson. And Jackson has grounded it to the pitcher. And that is two away. And this is looking as though it's going to be a quick innings as Ricky Kuipers comes into bat. One and two is the count on him. Come on, Rick. He strikes out, and it is a quick fourth innings. And still, we're tied at zeros. Oh, it's a tight, tense playoff series, and you wouldn't want it any other way. It's Jiva. Or maybe like, if we could smash him, that'd be all right. Full count on him, and he walks. Lead off man aboard for the Pirates. Not ideal. Kawanak comes up to bat. One and two is the count on him. 
Marta sits him down. That's eight strikeouts he has now. An absolute display at times this from Martis. That's a ground ball. That could be a double play. The vent over to Urbanus. Over to Carabello. That gets us out of the fifth. Another nice quick innings there. And let's see if we can do some damage in the bottom of the innings. DeVint to lead us off. One and one's the count on him. Quillen, ugh, ground ball to shortstop. That'll be one away. And now it brings Martina up, who did, of course, get a single last time around. What can he do this time? A first pitch swing from the catcher. It's well hit, but unfortunately straight to center field, who barely had to move. And that is two away for Nick Urbanus, who is one for two today. Owen oh, one's the count. Come on, Irby. He's grounded it down to first base. That's a simple play. And we are through five scoreless innings. Oh, are we going to extra innings? It's Martis to continue to Sam's. Oh, and one is the count. That's a ground ball. Martis has it. Over to Carabello, please, mate. And there it is. That is one away. Back and no, Birkenbosch comes up now. He is 0 for 1. 0 for 5 so far this postseason. Make that 0 for 6. Urbanus, is he going to have a play? Oh, he's not. I spoke too soon. He's now 1 for 6. It's a one-out single for Birkenbosch for Lop. Lupstock to come up. He is one for two today. One for three today. Another strikeout for Martis. Two away. And Ricardo comes up now, who has yet to get a hit this postseason. That's been popped up. Bernardine is coming around. Should make a simple catch in the outfield. There it is. And that ends the top of the sixth. Still tied at zeros. It's been a pitching display from these two starters, hasn't it? Bladell to lead us off. Yet to get himself a hit this postseason. Full count. Come on, Johnny. Oh, he's walked. We'll take it. That looked like it's striked. <laughs> he got away with it. Bernardina now with a man on. What can the king do? Triple crown winner, of course. Bernardina. It's well hit. Is it going over right field? No, it's not. It's not. And it's not quite deep enough to get Bladell around. Carabello with one out runner at first. What can yesterday's hero do? He is yesterday's hero. He strikes out again. That's two away for DeLima now. First pitch swing, Bladell's going for the steal, and he gets there comfortably. Easy steal for Johnny Bladell. A base hit now for DeLima, might just give us the lead. DeLima, has he got it over third base? No. And we are now through six scoreless innings. Martis continues to Richardson, 116 pitches deep he is. One and two is the count, and he strikes out another one. 10 strikeouts now for Martis. Schlopp comes in to bat. He is 1-4-2 today. 1-0 is the count. That's been popped up. Bernardine is there. Again, should make a simple catch in center field. He does. Two away. Martis continues to Jeebers, who is 0-4-1 today. I think he walked last time up, didn't he? That's been hit. Bladell is there. Can he make a catch? Yes, he can. A decent catch out there as well. And we stretch... Still scoreless. This is a football manager game, not a baseball manager game. Nil, nil after seven and a half innings. Ryan Jackson, no, six and a half, I guess, isn't it? Ryan Jackson to lead us off. He faces Nort and he walks him. All right, Jacko on board. Not the quickest, but can we work with this? Ricky Kuypers comes up now. Two and two's the count. Kuypers hits it back up the middle, gets it through. That should get Jackson to third. He turns, he stays at second. Maybe a wise decision. Two on, no one out. DeVint, who's 0 for 2 today. What can he do? He lays down a bunt. Is it a good one? No, it's a horrible bunt for Quillen. DeVint, a double play. That could barely have gone worse. Kuiper's at second, two out. Martina at the plate. Martina hits it back up the middle, but second base fields it, and that ends the innings. And DeVent, how difficult is it to lay down a bunt that doesn't result in a double play, honestly? Oh, that is a big, big missed opportunity there. Martis to continue. He's coming up to about 300 pitches, I think. One and one's the count. Oh, dear. That is gone. The eighth run is a let off. The eighth innings, I should say, is let off by a Pirates home run. And Martis, he, he's, he's, he's not a robot. He can only throw so many pitches. He's 127 pitches deep. Larkin, mate, we do have options in the bullpen. You've got to use them. Two and two's the count. That's a strikeout. 11 strikeouts for the game now. And Dario Alvarez comes in. Let's hope he's a big game player here. He's up against Sams, who is 0 for 3 today. 
This is looking suspiciously like a walk at three and one. It is. Runner at first with one out, and it's Bockenberg to the plate. One for two today. Full count. Come on, Dario. That's down the first base line, and that is looking suspiciously like it might get a runner over to third. It's a double. Is he going to come in and score? Oh, how does that happen? That's terrible animation. And it is 2-0, to zero, and it's all going a little bit wrong in the eighth innings. Lupstock continues now. First pitch swing for him, and we're walking him. Oh, Alvarez, this is what he has a nasty habit of doing. He just lets games get away from him. Full count. That's a strikeout. There's two away. All right, Richardson. Two out, two on. This is a massive at-bat now. Two and two's the count. Sitting down, Dario. He does. All right. But that is big, big damage done. We have six outs to rescue this thing. John Sims comes on for them. He is a very, very good pitcher. Urbanist to lead us off. Come on, Nicky boy. Three and one's the count. Come on, Irby. He has grounded it straight back to the pitcher, and that is one away. It's going to be Johnny Bledel now, who is yet to get a hit this postseason. That's been popped up. That's going to be two away, and we're down to four outs. Oh, dear. Bernardina, can the king do something wonderful here? Two and one is the count. Two out, no one on. Bernardina has... Been caught. It's a good catch there with the shortstop. Unlucky. Robbed of a hit, I'd say. And we go to the ninth, and we are 2 0 down. Alvarez to continue. 3 and 1 is the count on Schlopp, and that is a leadoff walk again. Alvarez to Jibbers. 0 and 1 is the count. That's been popped up. That should be caught by probably Delima. Martin is interested, but Delima makes the play. That is 1 away. Double play now gets us out of this. It's Quirinac to the plate to face Koyman, who comes in for this one. 0 and 2 is the count. Can Koyman get a strike out? He can. Now, of course, this is the guy that was our third in our starting rotation last season. So he's very, very capable. DeQuint comes up now. He's 0 for 4, 0 for 7 this postseason. Full count, two out, and we end it there. All right. We need heroes in the bottom of the ninth. It's going to be Carabello to lead us off. He's 0 for 3 today. Can he get something going for us? Come on. He's hit it. He's popped it up, though, and that's going to be one away as right field goes back and makes the play just short of the warning track. DeLima now. We're coming up to the wrong part of our order, aren't we? He's 1 for 3 today. 2 and 1's the count. DeLima back up the middle. All right. That gets the tying run to the plate. It's Ryan Jackson. He is 0 for 2 today. 2 and 2 is the count. Jackson has popped it up, and that's going to be 2 away. And it's up to Ricky Kuipers. We're down to our final out. Come on, Rick. 1 and 0 is the count. Kuipers, he's hit it. How well has he hit it? Not well enough. Center field camps underneath it. And we've lost game 2. 2 to nothing. So there we go. The series is tied at 1. And I think, let me know what you guys think in the comments. That, that DeVint bunt, if that gets laid down properly, we've got one out, runners at second and third, and you surely start to think then that, you know, it's we're going we're gonna to take a lead, and then that puts pressure on them. But that was just, it was just not good enough today, was it? There we go. We're tied at one. We go off to Amsterdam for game three. That's going to be Thursday, guys. If you have enjoyed this, uh, for whatever reason, please do hit thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you Thursday for another special edition of the Baseball Journeyman. It's game three of the playoffs with the Silicon Storks. Take care.